We're ready. <laughs> we have a quorum. Okay. Well, at this time, I call the meeting of the <clears throat> Public Improvement and Safety Committee to order. Uh, the clerk has took roll. We do have a quorum this evening. Uh, first thing on the agenda is the minutes of the <clears throat> March 16th, 2020 meeting. A, mo a motion would be in order at this time. So made. Second. Motion made and second to approve the minutes of <clears throat> March 16th, 2020. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Minutes are approved. Next on the agenda is <clears throat> resolution 26R20 to award the construction contract for the Pine Hall Drive improvements. A motion would be in order at this time. So made. So made. Second. second. Motion made and second to approve resolution 26R20. We have a staff report, please. Thank you, Chairman Beck. Um, we opened bids last week for the Pinell Drive improvements, and uh, we did so uh, as a, basically as a Zoom meeting, uh, where all the contractors could tune in and, and watch the bid opening, you know, from a safe distance. Uh, Michelle set the uh, the bid opening up, and uh, it worked very well. And uh, so, thanks, Michelle, for for doing that. Um, as a reminder, the scope of the project is to um, connect, interconnect the drywalls into the storm sewer system on Pine El or on Alpine Drive, uh, because we are seeing some spot flooding, you know, um, along Pine L. We're also going to resurface the street and then, of course, take care of any miscellaneous curb and gutter inlet repairs that we need to take care of while we're out there. Uh, we had a total of nine general contractors uh, procure bid documents. That's quite a few. Uh, and five generals uh, submitted bids for the project. Bids ranged from 209,000 to new 294,000. Uh, my estimate was 266,000, uh, low bid was 209, so obviously we, we got a very good bid result. Uh, hopefully that will, uh, that will continue. Um, so at this time, we recommend that the project be awarded to Northern Illinois Service Company, who is our lowest responsive, responsible bidder. Uh, assuming approval tonight and at tonight's board meeting, um, construction would begin in mid-May and would be substantially complete around the 4th of July. There'll probably be a couple punch list items that need to be taken care of after the 4th, but for all practical purposes, life will be back to normal for the residents by the 4th. And with that, I'll entertain any questions. Does anyone have any questions of Chris? Any, anyone on the committee have any comments? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. All those in favor of resolution 26 R20 to award the contract to Northern Illinois Service Company at $209,444.66 signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That passes with a positive recommendation and we'll go to tonight's board for appropriate action. Next on the agenda is resolution 27R20, authorizing the engineering services for the 2020 pavement maintenance program. Motion would be in order at this time. So made. Second. Motion made and second to approve resolution 27R20. Can we have a staff report again, please? Again, thank you, Chairman Beck. Uh, it's time of year to start working on our resurfacing program, and um, I think everybody kind of understands the scope, which is to resurface streets, fix areas of curb and gutter. We often have to fix um, sidewalk ramps that are out of compliance for ADA, and uh, essentially it's kind of a catch-all where we, we take care of a number of different things. Um, this year we've got about six to seven miles of roads that we think we're going to be re able to resurface. So I'm hoping that number grows a little bit as we go through final design. Typically it does. Um, a few highlights this year are Elm Avenue south of Harlem Road. It's a high volume street. Uh, was reconstructed in the early 2000s, uh, 2004 if my memory is good. Uh, a couple of areas in there that have settled uh, that need some help and um, Never really been happy with the transition from the old pavement into the new pavement at Elm, so we're going to make that a little bit better. Um, Eagles Use Subdivision, we've been working in that subdivision for the past uh, two years, and we will complete uh, all the streets um, in Eagles View this year. 
um, actually in the older section of Eagles View, there's a newer section of Eagles View south of the, uh, the High Lines, the Comment High Lines. We haven't been in there yet, but that's all pretty new pavement. Um, we're gonna start working on the west side of the river. Uh, this will be the first time that we do that, starting with Carina's Curve and Sandy Point and Key West Drive going into River Key. Those are the main access roads in and out of River Key. And uh, there's a, a railroad crossing at Sandy Point, which we need to uh, get a preliminary design in front of the railroad as soon as we can. Typically, they take a little bit of time to review. So uh, we want to uh, get in front of them as quickly as we can. And then Ventura is yet another high um, traffic roadway. We resurfaced that um, in section starting in 2001 or 2002, and it's certainly due again. Um, if you look at the map, there's a number of streets in there, uh, Ralston South, for example, where we started to resurface streets, you know, in the early 2000s, and they are all due again. So um, with that, I'd be happy to, to entertain any questions. I should say um, the schedule for this, we would uh, look for a, a advertisement for bid in May, uh, award a bid in June, and then try to get most of the work done in July and then early August. With that, I'd entertain any questions. Anyone on the committee have any questions, Chris? Hearing none, any committee, committee members have any comments? Hearing none, we'll vote. <clears throat> All those in favor of resolution 27R20 to authorize engineering services for the 2020 payment maintenance program to McMahon and Associates signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? That passes and we'll go on to the May 4th meeting for appropriate action. Next on agenda is, is reports. Does anyone have any reports? Hearing none, Lori, do we have any comments from the public? And at this time we have no written or uh, uh, emails, uh, no comments uh, submitted prior to the meeting, but the public is uh, permitted now to Call in if they wish to speak to the Public Improvement and Safety Committee. The number is uh, displayed on the screen. And we'll leave the line open for one minute. I believe our one minute has expired. So we have case, no public next comments. On the, next on the agenda is to adjournment. Motion would be in order at this time. So we Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Stand by for the next meeting.